What's up, Van Clan, and welcome back to the channel. We just took a little bike ride over to Walmart. We literally just did this last vlog. Let's show them the fit, Hayes. Show them a little OOTD. Ooh, the purse, the glasses. Vinch, let's show them your fit. Are you a dinosaur today? Yes, sir. I have a tail. You have a tail. Ooh, look at Wilder's face. So handsome. Oh. We're at Walmart because Garrick had to get a few things. We actually need a diaper, so I'm glad we came here. And we needed a clip for a door that we're building for the goats. Not a clip, a hinge. And why would we take the car when we have the bike? And it's actually really nice out, except for in the wind, so we're wearing like cozy clothes. I love you. Mwah. We're back from our bike ride. One, two, three. And we're making some Play-Doh, go ahead. Okay, a full teaspoon of cream of tartar, because we're gonna double the recipe. Yes, baby. Mommy, yes. Mommy, where's the gold to add in it? We'll get it, all right, do a full scoop of that. Good job. That's good. Okay. And then a cup of salt. Okay. There you go. Yep. A cup of water. I'm literally watching my TikTok because I forgot how to make it. And a tablespoon of oil. Oil. Hey, well, Garrett, do you know where the food coloring is? I think I know where it is. Where? Well, where'd you find that? In my room. Why was this in your room? I don't know. That was the only one. That was the only one? Okay, I guess we'll use this one. Add, add in. in. Yeah, you can go ahead and add it in. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's red. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just stirring it on medium to low heat for like two or three minutes. Oh, it's totally like Play-Doh. I know. Okay, I stirred it till it looks a little dry looking. And then I'm gonna pour it out. Oh, okay. are you cute or something? No, you cute. No, you're cute. No, you cute. Okay, now we just knead it all together. And now it's done, now it's ready to play with. And it lasts way longer than like regular Play-Doh in my opinion. Regular Play-Doh like dries up in two seconds. I just got them this little mud pie table, which works perfect for Play-Doh too. Yeah. So cute. Now that they're occupied for a little, we're gonna attempt to make, well, we as in Garrick is gonna attempt to make me a milking stand because like you guys know, Molly is very close to having her baby. She hasn't yet, we're still on baby watch but I'm really hoping that it happens today or tomorrow. And I wanna have a milking stand ready to go. Are you gonna be nice to the goatee baby? You better be. Yes, you better be. It's literally the perfect day to just be outside, so I'm loving this. We got the latch for the barn door up. I want Amalia to be able to like have her own space in there for when she's kidding, so we like hurried up and did that. We as and Garrick feel so nice out here. <laughs> attach a little bowl right here. So essentially the goat's head goes in here and then this part closes and latches so we can milk her. I am so happy that that's done. And then he also added a latch right here. You guys, it is the next day. I can't believe we're still on baby watch. It's just crazy how sure I was the other day. And now I'm just so confused. Like it's just so unpredictable at this point. When are you gonna have your baby girl? <sighs> I'm so ready, if you can't tell. I mean, you could guess it by now. I'm taking a bath. What's new here? I have been just into Amalia's pregnancy as I have mine. Like, I'm so fascinated. I wanna know like how her genetics are gonna be, his or her, if she's gonna have multiple babies, like what it's gonna look like. You guys can probably tell, I am like, I'm in it. And you guys, I have been obsessed with this app called Yoda. This is for all my astrology girlies out there. If you know me in real life, then you would know that I never know like what these girls are saying, what it means. I've been super interested in it and learning. I'm obviously pregnant. Just a lot of like big things happening in life. So I've been dabbling. And I just say now, like I get it. I've had horoscope apps like before, but this app is not just that. It gives you actual insight into various different aspects of your life. And there's over 200 professional astrologers on there. So you're really just able to connect and ask your questions. about all different things in your life, like your career, relationships, family, etc. And it's just fun to get like this insight, if I'm honest. 
Aside from asking questions, you get the daily horoscopes and access to them 24 seven, right at your fingertips and it's actually reputable. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna ask the app right now. I should ask what the gender would be. Okay, I just have to wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> I'm out of bath, obviously. But this is so crazy because I was just telling my mom last night I had the craziest, most vivid dream that I was having a girl. And I just asked my astrologer what the gender of my baby will be. I just haven't asked or like looked into any of the theories or anything at all, so I'm, just, I'm curious. She asked me like a few questions about like when the child was conceived, you know, partner details like place, date, and time of birth, that, that sort of thing. So I sent it over and she said, it is seen you're supposed to give birth to a beautiful baby girl. She shall be healthy and charming in nature. I am just like shocked. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know y'all, that's crazy. This app is so cute, I love it. I'll leave a link in my description box below so you guys can check it out for yourself. I don't know why I just, like I had that dream literally last night and I made sure I woke up first thing this morning, elaborated and told my mom about it and then that just happened. It's crazy. Okay, now that they're occupied with Play-Doh, I'm gonna attempt on making their... So I have it all the way, plus I've just been itching to do it. It's like one of my favorite things to do. And the kids are getting sneaky like the other day. Garrick put one of the Easter bags of stuff in Hazel's closet like up top and she noticed that something new was in there. So of course she got her big brother to go and check it out and they got into one of the Easter bags. I don't know why, but like during Christmas time and Easter time when I'm like collecting stuff, you know? I put them in random spots of the house, just like up high. Anyway, I just wanna make them so it's one thing that I've died. Today is gonna be an amazing day. I'm claiming it now. Oh, I forgot something that I got. These cute little Easter tags, you guys. My friend Brett made them from a wildflower workshop. Look how precious this is. You're joking. I'm so excited to put that on there. I cannot. I got these from the Dollar Tree and I saw them and I because I went there to get golden eggs. And I saw these and I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw, if not these exact ones at Target, ones that literally look almost identical. Another Dollar Tree find. Cute little craft. Another Dollar Tree find. Okay, sure. So for Hazel, I got her headphones. Her cute little uniform ones. Wilder, I got him these little transformers. Eric's deodorant. Oops, forgot to give it to him. These I just got from Amazon. Amazon. These are scored at five below for a dollar. Do y'all remember these as kids? You like heat them up. They're like melting beads. So cute. Pop socket for a dollar at five below. Wilder, a little robot. Venture, a little turtle. I also got him this little mystery dino dig. Oh, shoot. I gotta put these in first. Hazel just said, Mommy, I want to give you a hug. She wants to see so bad. Hold on, baby. I saw these and I was like, how fun. These little jelly bombs. I don't know, my pregnant self. There's four in there, so there's one for me. Look at how sweet these look. I'm obsessed. Simple, but so freaking cute and filled with things I know they're going to love. These were honestly the perfect touch. I love it. I love it. I love it. I live for this stuff. I just curled my hair, tempting to actually get ready today. But I also decided that I'm starving. I have been craving this literally all night, you guys. Garrick, before he went to bed, he came in the room with ramen noodles and sriracha. And I don't even like stuff like that normally, but I like ate most of his and now I'm craving it so bad. I don't even normally like ramen that much either. So I'm making that. He had it with ramen, sriracha, some other random spices, and then he was eating them with like crackers and sriracha. I don't know, I think he's pregnant too. He's been eating some weird crackers, stuff. He dipped the crackers inside of the noodles. He did. One of my good friends, Sap, just found out the gender of her baby, and she sent it to me so I could get my reaction. And I finally like have a second to look at it, and I'm kind of nervous. She sent it in this like, can you tell? And I can't figure out like how. It's exciting finding out the gender of her baby because I can't find out for me. And we're pregnant at the same time, which is so cool. Oh, <laughs> really? So cute. Okay, baby, I'll help you one second. Just, oh, I saw his blue first. Oh. Ellie's gonna have two brothers looking after her. Can I see? Oh, look. Remember your favorite baby? Yeah. They're having 
she's pregnant just like mommy and she's having another boy i'm so happy for her and her family like they, they are literally the sweetest people ever when i was going through one of the hardest times in my life me and sav didn't even like really know each other and we got together because she was in town and we had been we had like talked but we had never seen each other in person and and i don't even know if she really like knows it to the extent but she made me so happy and like i was able to confide in her in a time where i just like felt like my world was just ending and so i just i love her so much i'm really grateful for her friendship and i'm so excited that we're pregnant together i don't know it's so fun being pregnant with your friends i love them so much and she's so deserving of all things great in life and i can't believe it's another boy i think that's so cute like when you have a girl and two boys like the boys are going to protect that little girl ow okay so he told me he added cayenne and sriracha it's about to be so good oh, wait i just scarfed that in literally two seconds I'm gonna have heartburn later, but it was worth it. You wanna know what else I'm craving? Great job, try building a three now. Yeah, you see it. It's a plain old flour tortilla. Anyways, on that note, we're gonna go get outside. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully it will be a goatee baby today. Pray. Please be a goatee baby today. Hazel's praying. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Give us a goatee baby today. Give us a book. Baby goatee today. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> what are you guys praying for? We're praying for a goatee baby. Anyways, if you like this video, please do a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.